Hey, what's going on guys? Gavin Peacock here, Flip Society. Today, thankfully in the backyard, we only have the birds to contend with, no helicopters or mowers. I just wanted to get this video done really quick. It'd be a lot quicker than the study video you would just put up. Um, and it's at my top 10 no-nos or do-nots for the GoPro. It might be tall tips, who knows. But they're all quick, easy fixes that I've even been guilty of. There's stuff that drives me just crazy when I see it in videos. Um, and they're all easy to avoid. So I'm gonna bang them off and get them done. And before I start, I'm just gonna say the approach to this channel when I'm not off doing crazy adventure things. You guys have been asking, always wondering when the next crazy vid's coming up. If I'm not doing that, I can easily slip in these tips and tricks videos or how-to videos or crazy review videos on any products I, um, I'm sent and asked to review and try out. This will be coming soon. Um, those are a lot easier to do, so I'm gonna bang those off in between all the big productions and help you guys out. Okay, that all being said, let's begin. Uh, you there, in the sexy blouse in the back. Where to get the shirt? <laughs> okay, number one, super easy. I'm gonna call it the free hand. I just finished the whole video on how to get your camera more steady. You want to avoid at all possible cases just having your GoPro in your hand and doing this. Okay, find a way to steady it somehow, some way. Steady one axis, anything you can do, watch my other video, easy. Adding to that, I've put in brackets the amateur friend. Also, don't hand off your GoPro to an amateur friend that's never used a GoPro before because they're going to hold it, they're going to look at it, and they're just going to wibble wobble camera all around and you're not gonna have any good footage. I love all my friends. I'm talking about you guys, you know you're guilty of the amateur camera shake, of just not being aware of your hand. And I guess part three to that is the rolling record, right? I've recorded, I've done what I wanna do and now my hand's flipping all over the place and camera's still recording. You get a nine minute clip. Someone forgot to stop recording and, and editing. You're having to seek through all that crap trying to find out what the best, best uh, piece is. That's number one done. Number two is the idea of wind. Obviously GoPros go in fast places, so there's always gonna be a wind. I just say try to avoid wind, especially with a GoPro outside of its case. I have a million examples of B-roll of all these things I'm going over. The best example I can show you is with my trusted little fan helper over here. Lots of wind, lots of wind here. Okay. Number three is the hard mount to a really shaky object. I got here my uh, GoPro on a quick clamp attached to handlebars. Never put a GoPro on an object that's gonna go through a ton of vibration. Always try to disconnect that GoPro, and I would say put that on, a, on your chest mount on a mountain bike. I'll show you some failed shots again of crazy vibration. Footage is useless, you're not gonna get anything. Unless you're on a butter smooth track or cement, uh, meaning a like road bike, um, never hard mount to an object that's gonna be shaking the whole time. No good. Okay, four is dead easy. GoPros aren't that great in low light, so avoid low light conditions. Uh, most of you guys wonder how I pull off such great shots inside dark, you know, clubs and whatever for festivals and DJs are going up. And it's just actually the illusion that it is really shit video in the dark but when the lights go off the gopro is well exposed and the content looks great um, i have my editing tips and tricks series i think there's about seven videos and one of them if you go digging shows you how to fix all your low light footage if you need to shoot in low light but otherwise small sensors on the gopro aren't great for low light conditions so avoid it if you want to avoid that graininess in your shots moving on okay number five is sliding your gopro on rough surfaces or surfaces at all without, again, look at my steady tips video, without a roller ball or something to smooth out the shot. So here, got the GoPro recording. It not only looks awful, but picks up an incredible amount of vibration and shake and audio sounds um, that just ruins the shot. So here we go on the Pelican case, sliding, okay, any little nick you make, tap, right, is gonna, pick up in the body of the camera, pick up into the mic, and your footage is gonna be ruined or you won't have the audio to go along with it. Yeah, you're stuck, guys. Thought you'd miss the video, eh? You hot, need some water? 
Oh, soak my crotch. Okay, going on to number six, kind of the same idea of horrible noise in your shots. Avoid clanky, jingly, whatever. So right here I can just see on the end of this dome port. Okay, you got a lanyard. It has hard plastic pieces. If that clicks and tangs along your handle, or this little thing up here is a release cable that I actually can't cut off because it's the only way to get this dome port open. Okay, if I'm shooting, well, you can hear that and you can hear Tucker rolling around. Cut it out. I'm recording here. You can hear that little clanking, little plastic bits. I know Casey Nice had too, he's got videos. The second he opens one of his camera cases or camera bodies, he takes his huge bolt cutters and cuts off that metal clip. The jingly janglies, we'll call them. Get rid of them. Don't have anything like that near your camera because it picks up in the audio and ruins your shot. Or just sounds awful and you gotta mute the track. Moving on. Water drops on lenses or dirt on lenses. Lens is right there in your face. Always look at it to see if you've ruined the shot with having water drops all over it. The super quick fix, lick the front and that'll be like an auto wicking surface on top and it actually works all water um, wicks away and you'll have a nice clear shot. Dirt is the other thing, always just inspect and check that you don't have dirt or something ruining the shot. I've been caught guilty of that before. In all those races when you come out of a mud pit, obviously you're gonna have shit on the lens. Just check your lens, make sure it's nice and clean. So you're not ruining a shot after putting all the time and effort to go get it. Addition to having smears or dirt on your lenses, the cheapest accessory you can buy for your GoPro are the anti-fog inserts. I got those clips from Jamaica I showed you before and afters of using these things. One little piece of this thing inside your case with your camera will prevent any fog building up inside if you're jumping from hot air, climate, wherever you are into cold water, that'll condense condense the uh, inside of the case. Those tiny little inserts, get rid of that. Um, I'm sure there's some DIY stuff as well that uh, you can do to throw in there to prevent that as well. Easy fix. Waiting for the wind, checking some emails. Okay, next is the idea of aiming. GoPro, it's a fisheye. You can't possibly miss anything, right? Super wrong. I just recently in this port in a 10K. Thought to myself, I'm gonna get an amazing selfie angle with the huge CN Tower in the background. How can you miss that? Totally missed it. Be aware of what angle your camera's on when you're raising it into the air or dropping it. Uh, especially that amateur friend that I talked about. They'll figure out and find a way to miss the action and you're doing your shots again. High speed moving, you know, me off the Russian swing or snowboarding. You gotta really pay attention how quick the camera moves match the speed of the subject. Um, but be aware, you know, this is a 170 degree angle, but there's still going to be times when you're cutting off subjects. Sometimes it might just be the case of having to back up, saves you, uh, but for the most part you want to be right in your face uh, with the GoPro as close as you can be. So aiming, pay attention to where your camera is looking when you're shooting stuff. Next question, you over there. Autographs later, moving on. Oh, the patented beers cheers the lens or fist bumps. Okay, my reminder is just make sure you don't do it outside the case. This is a nice cheapo plastic cover. This is the glass sphere of the lens. If you have the GoPro free, you don't want people coming in and smashing beer cans into the lenses. Always do that protected by the case. That way you can get rid of the case, buy a new one. You can probably replace these front hoods on these things anyway. Don't clank on the bare glass or on a hero session because uh, that's the only face you have. If you scratch that up, you're having to go through the process of having to replace that, so that's annoying. Also watch out for that amateur friend because they'll see you do it and they'll go run off and try to copy and you're getting your lens smashed up all over the place. Moving on, next is the stern warning of always using your waterproof back casing near water. Never have, GoPros are like a magnet. If you got your GoPro out of a case and you're near water, it's gonna get soaked gonna fall in. Thank goodness the new five lines are waterproof or splash proof or whatever they're claiming. Um, but I've had a few times where GoPros have just got dunked and I wasn't ready for it and you learn your lesson very quickly one time. So what I'm talking about here, open up my case. Never have that open backing. These are better for audio when you're completely dry, not around any water. But I never ever ever put them on the cases because even this waterproof backing will pick up decent audio. Um, I've never found a time that I need to keep one of these on the back 
Uh, yeah, I got some footage from Collingwood flipping off a pier. I, it's my fault. I knocked the camera out of my brother's hand. That was oh, led to an epic recovery video that I have up on my channel. Uh, but yeah, it was an open backing. Didn't intend to get near the water. People were flipping off the pier. I wanted to flip off the pier. Hit the camera, sink to the bottom. Camera shot. Footage was saved, but the camera was shot. So just be careful of that. Okay, lastly, in the theme of being around water, Okay, always keep your floaties nearby. Keep them attached. It's a sweet Sandmark floaty for head strap that I've shown you guys in the past. Okay, floaties, always on cameras near water. Last rule is do not lose your GoPro. Without a GoPro, you don't have it. You're useless. You got nothing, so don't lose the GoPro. I was surfing in Nova Scotia and a huge wave ripped my suction cup mount off. Uh, thank goodness I was using the green pool noodle as a floaty. Uh, and it took a ton of time to actually find it in the whitewash, but we found it and it was floating and everything was safe. Uh, buddy of mine, Willie, just took my camera to Sri Lanka and he didn't understand how quick the tides came in. And there was an epic shot. He left the camera for 20 minute time lapse of him swimming. Tide came in, eroded his tripod down, swept his camera away and he had to go find it. So. Found it. Yeah, that was close. Up in the Indian Ocean. Hilarious stories. Number 10, don't lose your GoPro. Well guys, that's it. The top 10 do nots and no-nos for GoPro usage. All of this stuff utilizing it will help you uh, create better footage and stuff that people won't cringe to when they hear all those clankety scratch noises in your audio. Um, and that's it. As always, love you guys, love the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely do it. And check out some of the old videos I got. There's a lot of gems in there um, that maybe you guys haven't found yet. Um, next adventure is gonna be a big Euro trip, like I mentioned. And stay tuned for any small mini compilations, as you guys call them, coming up. Until then, I'm gonna keep making the easy tips and tricks and accessories videos and product reviews on different gizmos and gadgets as I receive them. And that's it, okay? Gavin Peacock, Clip Society. Tucker in the bush, out. Thanks guys. Flip Society Apparel? Yeah, maybe we could do that. If you guys wanna see some shirts and hats and sweaters and hoodies and all those good things, let me know, comment below. Okay, until next video, Flip Sock out.